Welcome to Lucerne that morning. Uh, thank you very much for not going into the snowy mountains with sunshine. Uh, it's a pleasure welcoming you all here. And I want to start my welcome with a short presentation of what's at stake for MS Society and uh, give you a brief overview. Uh, our aim, all together with you researchers, clinics and health experts, is that we end MS. That is still all of our mission. But we have some other missions too, aside of that. This is, it's time to end discrimination and exclusion. This is not just a political issue. We have to bring people living with MS into our social networks and into our society and keep them there if they are kept away due to their disability. And I have a very uh, convincing statement from about a man in the 40s. I never once thought I would be in my 40s living with a chronic illness, surviving from social security because my disease progression forced me out of, out of a career I loved, staying home much of the time because of mobility and accessibility difficulties requiring regular visits from a home healthcare nurse to help me manage everyday life, and losing friends left and right. My plans were so much bigger than this. And this is for us, it's really a commitment that we help people that are affected by MS in this way to stay in the middle of the society. And this is something, our mission is to change that to the better, for a real better quality of life and to end MS. And how do we do that together with you? Together we are in a successful and strong MS network, having all the experts, the health experts, people living with MS, and social health experts, social security system experts, building a strong network. The researchers, we, uh, even if it's difficult to, fund, to fundraise, we could, due to our donors, support research with 11.2 million Swiss francs since 2010. And we try to provide a neutral expertise, a social network, an effective, concrete individual support for better quality of life. And that's measurable. Quality of life with MS. This is what most of you provide. Access to a state of our treatment and rehabilitation. This is, a, this is a really strong and a very, very most important part of that. We try to support your work with supporting research, with a registry and a cohort study in Switzerland to know more about treatment options and a patient reported outcome in the registry. Uh, we have the financial condition and social support situation. We do individual advocacy and counseling, helping to secure the financial basis of people who have the diagnosis and their families. This is not so easy because we have more and more people due to the uh, renewal of the regulations who drop out of the system. Last year, we had uh, 800,000 uh, Swiss francs to spend in direct aid for people who did not get support out of the system. This has doubled in the last three years. So there's a development that is calling for political action. Social integration, respect and mutual information, you all know about, about the value of a social integration for people living with MS, not to be excluded. We do this with our regional groups. They are 3,800 3, persons all over Switzerland, 2,000 of them with a diagnosis of MS, who do uh, approximately four social activities per week. So, it doesn't sound very highly sophisticated like research, but they provide a real, real necessary and good help for people in the local places. The MS Society is organizing two, more than two events per week, together with most of you, the experts, and with other people with more than 2,800 participants per year. And we have built a Facebook community with more than uh, 35,000 followers today. We fight discrimination in words and actions. A Swiss MS Day last year was very successful to show what it's about and what we can do against MS. We do a lot of political lobbying to ensure the rights and the needs of patients and people living with MS, and we can provide neutral information. Social integration, we have this MS and work project to get and keep people in the work structure. The MS Society is a society for uh, people living with MS and their families. We, uh, together with the experts like 
Jens Bansi, we have uh, created the MSN Sport program. And the events and group activities are uh, essential for social integration of people who will not or do not want to drop out of a society. Family and friends, we provided a family and carer support, which is very important to keep, keep the families aboard and help them to cope with the disease of their loved ones. Vacations for 100 heavily affected guests, about six months per year, they, have to have, they need a 24-hour caring. And programs for kids. And finally, yes, younger people who have different needs, uh, we, have, we, have, we have the youth forum, dancing and sport activities and social activities. They have different needs than others, so we have to take care of them. So what do we get out of that together with you? Together with you oh, up there in the middle, we get out colleagues, friends and active members of our society, not the MS society, of our Swiss society. And it's worth investing in there. So just an example that gives a hint to the next speaker. <laughs> This is uh, an activity in the Tamina Valley, and so you get an impression what we, what we do aside from research. So, 11,000 persons made, less, made use of the services last year. We had 1,500 volunteers helping us, 15,000 members give us a strong voice, and 75,000 donors help us to deliver a, a support service that's neutral and independent. Without these donations, this would not be possible. We are not paid by the state. So, I will lead over to today's speakers, give it over you. You've seen it in the program. Jörg Kesselring, Jürgen Panek, Pasquale Calabrese, Claude Wanne, Regula Steinlin, and Ludwig Kapos. And our experts in the workshops are going to share their know how with you. And we are happy that they're here, that they took the time. And we ask you as participants to join our network, show your solidarity, share your expertise, and yes, we ask for your donation as well. <laughs> so, finally, let me thank you, uh, the Programme Committee of the Sci Scientific Advisory Board, uh, the SAB, Britta Engelhardt, our President of the Scientific Advisory Board, and all the sponsors of the 19th State of the Art. You can see them here. Thank you very much. Without the sponsors, it would not be possible to have this in the KKL and to bring all, together all the experts. Thank you very much. And finally, I want to thank uh, Lia Rusterholz and the team for organizing the State of the Art 2017. Uh, they did a great job up to here, and I, I think it's fantastic, the work they've been doing, not only in the background, many of you have been in contact. So, thank you very much, uh, and I will end with this slide. Enjoy the day.